It has been two weeks since the battle between the two Sanins, Naruto's skill had made him the main talk in the inn not just the village hidden in the leaves, but the whole elemental nations. Kakashi had gone on a guilt streak but due to the order from the Hokage he was forced to take missions. Kumogakur. Hum the spy report should be arriving any minute, but there's no doubt that the village must be heavily if a weaker spy made it in for so long. Or the thought of the rakage who was currently working out trying his best to ignore the huge pile paperwork in front of him when suddenly the door slammed open and Killer B the rakage's and adoptive brother and Jinchuriki of the Hachibi walked in with his team. Yo bro. We're back and ready to go, said B. Speak for yourself, said Yugito teammate of Killer B and the Jinchuriki of the Nibi. A new mission is not cool, as very well endowed Kanoichi named Samui receiving a nod from the other two teammates Karui and the overly negative boy teammate Omoe. B, how many times do I have to tell you to look at your team's condition before you ask for more missions? Asked A. Bro, I'm just kidding yo said B. Just then the Rakage's assistant Mabui walked in, Rakage sama he's here. Okay bring him in B, Yugito I want you two here for this the others may leave, a said as he dropped his dumbbell on the floor. Hi, Samui, Karui and Omoe said as they left and the thought the later was making in a negative breakthrough. Hello Rakage sama I'm here to report about Kohona, said a middle-aged man who seemed to be in his late forties. Report said a iwagaker hum let's see the doctor's bills are getting a bit extreme though the sandame suchikage onoki grandpa can i have a mission it's getting quite boring here said kuritsuchi the granddaughter of onoki i thought i told you kuritsuchi until you're done with the new lava jutsu that we discussed you're not having another mission said onoki but grandpa all i do is train she said you're the only one that can take this hat Kuritsuchi not your father and not anyone else you goi potential to make IWA the greatest, he said proudly. Suchikage sama the spy we sent to Kohona has arrived, said the assistant. Finally, I have an appointment later hurry and bring him in, said the Suchikage before turning to Kuritsuchi. Kuritsuchi I want you to watch closely, this meeting may just be the beginning of the end of Kohona, said the old man. Suchikage Sama, the old man who was in his mid 70s, said as he walked in. Good, you're here, let me hear it, said the Suchikage. Sunagakar, we were tricked, said a council man. I know, but will they see it that way? asked a council woman. We must, we can't let a war break out, not at this time. We are too weak, said another. We have received word from a spy that we sent to Kohona to see if they want war or not said Baki. So what are you waiting for let him in, said an elder council man. Hi, Baki said as he showed the spy in. Tell us what you found out, said the first council. Kumo, another sage, to think that the first thing after an invasion they seemed to have grown in power, said A. There's no way that you managed to spy your way through such tight security they wanted the information to spread, said Yugito. They multiplied the power by 2-0, oh, said B. That's not all, said the spy. Go on, A told. It seems the sage is also the Kyubi's Jinchuriki. Quote exclamation mark quote. This is bad, said A. And, said the spy a little scared. There's more, asked A. Yes, do you remember the Uzumaki woman that Kumo wanted for her special chakra? Well it seems that he's the son of that woman and the Yandaimi Hokage. Minato Namikaze, he said as he looked at three flabbergasted individuals. Iwa, he had a son, said Onoki totally shocked. Yes he looked just like him, said the spy. Grandpa the son of that person, it's too big news we need to inform the war council, told Kuritsuchi, we need to destroy them while they're weak and alone. We can't, said the spy. And why can't we, asked Onoki. It seems that Kiri has used the opportunity to make a peace contract with Kohona and worse they also placed the boy under their protection, said the spy. Was heard as pure rage was being pumped through the room. We need to do something, said Kuritsuchi. There's nothing we can do our hands are tied, said Onoki. Suna, quote exclamation mark quote. This makes things difficult we are now not only left without a Hokage, 
alone and short on people for war. Now they even got more power, said a councilwoman who was clearly frustrated. We have to make sure that Kohona and we are on good terms since Gara seems stable now, said another. Yes I heard the beast was extracted from his body, said another. So did I. I even had some people spy on his and have made sure to have seen Gara sleep. So what's the big deal Gara seems to be friendlier and much more proficient I controlling the sand, said a woman. True, he's become calm and strong like a true ninja, said an elder named Chio. Hum I think we may have found a candidate to be the next K's cage, said her little brother Ebizo. But are we to do about Kohona? Send a message to them explaining the reasons and hope they understand, said one. Agreed, said another. Kumo. B. Yugito, I want you two to kill him, said A. What? But the, Yugito started but was interrupted by A. That's not important here, he seems to be the root of all the problems. If he's out then Kohona will weaken, said A. That's nice and all but he's at the Leaf Village how are we supposed to kill him, asked Yugito. That's why this is a long-term mission be sure to attack when he's alone, said the Rakage. Hi. Yugito said while be raped. Kohona. Naruto was currently in a spar with his new sparring partner. The two were getting along quite well. It began with stories about his mother and how good her sword skills were. This raised curiosity of how well his mother had taught this girl. The first match lasted long as they tried to get to know each other's rhythm, which they found was very similar to each other's due to Naruto using Whirlpool style and Yugao's style being referenced by the style. As the spars and days went the fights started to get more and more intense. The amount time had first fallen drastically, due to Naruto's skill but Yugao started to catch up soon afterwards. Naruto who was always training was now having fun, he was happy having someone to talk to. On the other hand Yugao had started to smile more, it began in the talks of her sensei and seems to be there to stay she had been spending almost all of her time with him. Of course there were breaks, speaking of breaks there was one break the time she realized just how much she had been smiling. She was walking to the bar planning to get a drink as she had not been able to do so the past week due to the mission, but she had the night of meaning she could get wasted. She walked in a nin bar and looked around seeing Anko and Kurenai with Hana Inazuka sitting in a corner of the bar. Normally she would like to have a drink alone but not today. Today she was going to get wasted so she got some bottles of expensive sake. Look who the cat dragged in, said Anko. Yugao, said Kurenai and Hana. Hey guys it's been a while, said Yugao. It's been a while, it's been days, where in the world were you? Asked Hana. I'm on a long term S rank mission within the village but that's all the public news I can give, Yugao said smiling a bit. Whoa a long term S rank and it's inside the village. Sweet. I wish the old man Hokage would give us more missions like those, said Anko. So how long will this mission last? Asked Kurenai. Two months. Yugao said as she opened the first bottle. And the pay? Asked Anko. A total of 1,050,000 Ryo, said Yugao fully smiling as she knew Anko was getting jealous as she was stuck doing many quick missions that were coming a lot these days. What that's crazy then it must be hard as hell, she said. Nope, it's quite time consuming but it's kind of fun, she said as she took a sip of the sake. Yugao took a big sip and looked towards Anko who was surprisingly silent and then looked at Hana and Kurenai that were just as silent. What's wrong, she said as she put the bottle down. Why, you're smiling, said Anko. Quote exclamation mark quote. Yugao thought as her thought went through the past few days as he realized that she had been smiling almost all the time. Now they were doing light sparring that was slowly destroying the training ground they were in. Come on put more power behind those swings, said Naruto as he threw a swing that made Yugao jump back. Stop that, it's really irritating, said Yugao as she came back with more force. Then make me said Naruto as he started to push her back again. Damn it, I give, said Yugao. Good, you lasted 32 seconds more than before, said Naruto. Yeah, yeah then why don't I feel the improvement, said Yugao. You know, sometimes you act like a baby. 
You have been fighting me and losing all this time of course you don't feel it you just have to find another opponent to test it on, he said. Fine, she said as she headed towards the door only to stop when Naruto threw something at her which she quickly caught due to her reflexes. A gift for your improvements, it's my first blade the white fang, said Naruto. Why give this to me? asked Yugao. Listen I didn't start sparring with you because I was bored. No I started this because I wanted a new wielder to carry that sword. It's a beauty that is even deadlier in a fight. Chakra metal and hardened sealed, one of the rarest swords in the world made by the finest craftsman in all of iron, said Naruto proudly. And you're giving this to me? She said clearly shocked. Yes if I had it, it would just be a blade for show and I don't want that, said Naruto. Thanks, said Yugao. Welcome. Now let's see what's next. Oh right let's head to the Hokage Tower, said Naruto as the both of them started jumping towards the Hokage Tower. At the Hokage Tower, so you're thinking of retrieving? Asked Jiraiya. Yes I'm trying to see who is the best candidate available so that I can finally rest, said Saru as he eyed the paperwork. Well it's about time anyway, said Naruto as he jumped in through the window and Yugao went and settled near the other Anbus. So what bring you here? Asked the old man. Where's the forums for my flares? Asked Naruto. Here we have received 43 from one and 52 from the other meaning that currently there are 95 flare candidates, said old man. Well it's a good beginning now for the next issue, I want some nins to train them, said Naruto. Naruto we don't have any spare nins that we can lend you, said the old man. I'm not taking them for free. I'm willing to pay an S rank missions pay to each of the person I hire every month, said Naruto. Who are they? The old man asked. Kakashi Hataki, Asuma Serutobi, Kurinai Yuhi, Might Guy, Kathir and Jiraiya the Toad Sanin, said Naruto. Whoa wait a minute, I'm teaching anyone my skills, said Jiraiya. You won't have to, I just want you to teach them Fuinjutsu, said Naruto. Quote comma dot. Well if I do, would you forgive me? Asked Jiraiya. Yes, answered Naruto. Then fine, said Jiraiya. So how long are these training sessions going to be? Asked the old man. Three hours every day starting when I'm able to leave for three years, said Naruto. Wait what three years Naruto isn't that a bit too long, Jiraiya said. I'm not training them to join a genin squad. I'm training them for the new Anbu platoon, said Naruto. Fine Naruto, but this mission is going to cost you a lot of money and I don't think that you have enough, said the old man. Come on old man, you are forgetting what I told you earlier, said Naruto making Saru realize that Naruto was also Yari the infamous and ridiculously wealthy owner of the Uzumaki Corps. I guess old age is finally catching up to me, said the old man. So it seems said Naruto as he jumped out the window with Yugao following, although she failed to realize that Naruto had switched himself with a clone. With real Naruto, base. So why the urgent call? said Naruto. We have important news, said Yagura who had just arrived back in the village with Fu. 250 of the prisoners from 640 have decided to follow us as thanks, said Fu. Quote exclamation mark. Really now that's good news how are they? 36 Jonin's 72 Chunin's 93 Jenin's and the rest are not really ninjas but have potential, said Yagura. Where did the rest of the prisoners go? Asked Naruto. Kiri. They wanted a home so I thought Kiri needed more people, he said. A cage never truly retires huh? Naruto said smiling lightly, tell them to report to the HQ to start their training. Who would be training them? Asked Fu. Zabuza, Pakura, Mei, Ao and Raiga will be training them said Naruto. Good choice, while the flares grow we cannot neglect our training as well be sure keep training, said Naruto. Oh and once you're done here head to Iwa I want you to recruit the two there. Hi, the two said in collision. Outside leaf. Brings back memories doesn't it, said a figure. Try to concentrate on finding the nine-tailed Jinchuriki. Rumors say that he's an s rank ninja, said the second figure. Itachi, the brat is just 13 there's no way he can be that strong, 
said the figure. Spies from every nation that was sent to check how strong Kohona was after the invasion says the same thing, said Itachi. Whatever, I'm just waiting to see father's face when sees us together. The worst criminals of Kohona together, I bet he'll actually shit himself, said the figure. That may be if he sees us but we are not here to create a scene, leader told us to be as secretive as possible, said Itachi. Che spoil sport, if you can't have fun at least let others have theirs, said the figure as they began to walk towards the leaf. With Kakashi, Asuma and Kurenai. Asuma and Kurenai were currently walking towards a restaurant, well they would be if the third wheel Hitaki was not there following them. They were in a deep conversation about the Sandame and his retirement plans. So when do you think he'll announce the news to everyone, said Kurenai. I think he wants to find a few suitable candidates before announcing, I mean he has been up late almost every night trying to find good and capable ninjas that could lead this village, said Asuma. This was when the trio sensed a suppression of chakra forcefully from two people that passed by them. Guys did you sense that, said Kakashi. Yeah, they were suppressing their chakra to a civilian's level, said Asuma. We should follow them, Kurenai informed the Hokage, Kakashi said as he took off. Wait why me, said Kurenai. Kurenai, please for me, said Asuma as he left as well. Damn men, Kurenai muttered as she went to inform the Hokage. By the lake side, you can stop following us now said Itachi as he stopped by the lake and turned around to see Kakashi and Asuma land a few meters away. Who are you and what's your business in Leaf, said Kakashi. Come on we were just visiting our old home, said the second man. That's enough take off those hats immediately or we will have to use force, warned Asuma. Well if the little brat hasn't grown up, said the same man. We have no choice let's end this quickly said Itachi as he took off his hat shocking the duo. Well, I guess, said the second figure as he took his hat off as well, making Asuma almost faint. N, no way, N, ni san, Asuma stammered out. Hello Ododo, said the man he was a well-muscled man and had the physique of a woodcutter a short beard and a cigar in his mouth. Itachi Uchiha the man who killed almost everyone in his clan and Serutobi Shin the eldest son of the Sandame and the person that killed his own little brother, what are two S-ranked missing nins doing here, said Kakashi. You know I heard about you, the brat that had copied a lot of jutsus but doesn't have the chakra to use most of them, mocked the newly named Shin. Kakashi take Itachi while I take me San, said Asuma. Fine, but Asuma keep your cool advised Kakashi. I'll try, he said as shot of taking out his trench knives. Asuma, you are seriously plan to kill me with those useless toys that I threw away, Shin roared as he shot towards Asuma in a burst of speed and suddenly punched in the stomach sending him flying, useless just like you. Asuma, shouted Kakashi as he tired to go help his friend when he was stopped by Itachi. Your fight is with me fire release. Great fireball jutsu, Itachi said as he shot a huge ball of fire towards Kakashi who used substitution to escape at the last minute. I'll have to be more careful, wait where's he? Thought Kakashi who was hiding behind a tree. You're too predictable Hitaki, Itachi said as he appeared behind Kakashi making Kakashi jump back in surprise. I'll need the Sharingan for this, but for some reason I don't think it's going to be enough, thought Kakashi. Foolish said Itachi making Kakashi making Kakashi's eyes widen. Boom. Damn it. Kakashi looks like we're having having some trouble huh, Asuma said as he saw the explosion. He knew Kakashi would never go down that easily but he also knew that Itachi was able to penetrate Kakashi's guard. Letting your guard down isn't the best thing to do when your opponent is actually stronger than you Asuma, said Shin. Fire release. Flame bombs, making jump up. Idiot. Explode, he said as the fireballs exploded. Really you guys, what's going on here, said Yagura and Fu from behind holding Kakashi and Asuma. Who do you think you are, said Shin as Itachi landed near him. That guy, he's quick, thought Itachi. You, are from Akatsuki are you not, asked Yagura they were still wearing their masks so that it was almost impossible to tell who was. 
Who wants to know? Asked Itachi who was curious of the opponent's identity. Well we'd tell you but. We aren't really allowed to tell you that or allow you to just come in here to take the Kyubi Jinchiriki, said Fu. Hum that's a lot of information about us, said Itachi. Enough. Let's finish this fire release. Flamethrower, said Shin as he launched a stream of fire towards Yagura and Fu. Water release water geyser, said Yagura as water from the sea shot towards the oncoming fire attack not only extinguishing it but also attacking them back making the two having to jump back. No hand seals, to think that someone with that level of water afflicity is still alive to do that without hand seals even in an area covered in water takes a lot of skill, thought Itachi. Che a water master, well sad for you I'm not just a fire user earth release. Stone dragon jutsu, he said as a dragon made from stone shot out of the ground and towards the Yagura only to have Fu destroy it with a single punch. You're going to have to do a lot more than that, said Fu. So it seems, Shin the water user must be water specialist use your earth release on him while I catch the woman in my genjutsu, whispered Itachi. Fine, said Shin. Sukuyomi, said Itachi sending Fu into the world of Sukuyomi. Where am I? said Fu. You're in the world of Sukuyomi, here I control everything and for the next 72 hours are going to be tortured here, said Itachi. A genjutsu and a strong one, I have to break out of this, no choice I'll have to use it, thought Fu as her eyes started to glow green and suddenly in a burst of chakra the genjutsu was ripped to shreds even making Itachi's eyes bleed more. To think she broke through my ultimate genjutsu, just who are these two? No it's not the time we must retreat reinforcements are coming, thought Itachi. Shin were leaving. Now, he said receiving a nod from Shin as they took off. We should leave too, we have so reach I was soon, said Yagura as they left the scene as well leaving the unconscious Kakashi and Asuma by a tree. Later the same day at the Hokage Tower. To think that he would join forces with a group like that, said a teary old man. Sensei it's not your fault, he was the one that went mad, said Jiraiya. No, I neglected him. I was so busy training, you doing missions with you, doing paperwork that I didn't spend a second with them, said the old man. Sensei, there's nothing we can do about it now, said Jiraiya trying to comfort his sensei. No Jiraiya, I have messed up too many lives as a Hokage. I am not worthy of this title. I have made my mind you will take Naruto and go find Tsunade and convince her to become the godime of the Leaf Village, said the old man. 